what's up how y'all doing okay so today's topic this i don't know why this sweatshirt makes me look so big i promise i'm not fat but i just look large you know um but today's topic is um when did money equal disrespect you know um for some reason i don't know if it's always been like this but i'm gonna just speak for the generation that i come from it seems as if money is no longer the root of all evil when really money is just currency bitch that's people that's the root of all evil i'm just saying though um but why is it that people who have money can get away with whatever but if you a broke bitch you got to sit down and have several seats what is that about now i made a comment and, and some of you guys are gonna hate me after this i don't care but i'm just letting you know i made a comment that i said that oprah was ugly okay um some people think she's beautiful i personally don't think oprah is cute at all but the same for me and everybody else. You know what I'm saying? That's just my personal opinion. I'm entitled to that, right? Okay. So, somebody said, yeah, who cares? Because she got money. She paid, though. When do we start talking about her money? We not, Her money's not making her cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, for you, maybe, because that's what you're interested in. But I'm talking about just looks in general, as far as a person as a whole. I'm not talking about her money. So why is it every time you say something about somebody, everybody wants to result back to what somebody has? Well, she got three Bentleys. Or my cousin said she didn't like Nicki Minaj. And her friend gonna turn around and say, well, she paid and she got money to look stupid. Y'all bitches out here looking stupid for nothing. Bitch, it don't matter if you she get paid to look stupid. It don't matter, bitch. This could be the next bitch. Like, why is that always a defense? Well, she got money, though. She got money. Like, money is not whatever. And I see a lot of people, like, I made a comment on Twitter, and I said, I couldn't be someone's assistant. And I already know the reason why I couldn't be someone's assistant because, one, my attitude is too bad. Two, my organization skills are too bad. Three... My irritation level is too bad. So I really can't do many things when I have to do it with someone else. That doesn't work. So somebody was like, well, you know, being assist a lot of people were assistants like Diddy. And then he went from, actually he was an A&R. But um, basically helping someone else has got somebody somewhere else. That's fine. I'm not going to, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But I personally don't feel that me helping someone else's dreams come true is going to help me in the long run. I don't see it. If I want to be the star, then why am I playing backup? Why am I in the background? Now, that's figuratively speaking. If in real life, if I wanted to be an actor like full throne, of course, I would have to be an extra first. And then unless I knew somebody, you know, and work my way up. That makes sense. But just to be an assistant and run somebody racket and have somebody disrespect me and call me on my name only because they have money and their their ranking is higher than mine. I just can't do that. I wasn't raised like that. Like, it's one thing when you have a job and you have to do it. But it's another thing when you have you're working for someone and you're basically someone's lap dog and a lot of y'all do it there's a lot of people that i know or have seen that are either on youtube off youtube friends with somebody cool with somebody else that give becomes friends with celebrities and they become a lap dog and whenever that person calls they come running but it's like do you want to be the star or do you always want to be the friend of, the sister of, the cousin of, the Twitter friend of? Do you want to be the bitch that's in, the, like, what the fuck? Is it just me? Like, y'all gotta, y'all gotta find y'all worth at some point in time. Y'all gotta do it. Because it makes no sense. You should never want to play backup to nobody. Nobody wants to be Kelly and Michelle. Everybody wants to be Beyonce. That's what I'm saying. So, why are bitches getting mad at me because of what I said? That's the truth, though. Unless that's what you want to do. If that's the bitch, knock yourself out. If that's what you, you really want to coast in the back and just be complacent with being the, the background, bitch, be all means. Do what you got to do. I'm not that bitch. So I'm not about to run and kiss somebody's ass in order to gain something from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can get my own shit my own way. If I'm friends with you, I'm friends with you because we cool. I'm not friends with you because of what I can gain because of what you have money. And if you 
go to the Grammys or if you become an A-list actor, then I'm going to be right there like, you know, bitch, I've been here for the longest time. No, fuck all that. I don't know you like that. That's why I don't fuck with a lot of people because a lot of people's mindsets are like that. Everybody wants fame and fortune. Everybody doesn't want to work for the fame and fortune. Everybody wants everybody to just hand in something. I'm a cute bitch. Everybody, bitch, you being cute ain't got shit to do with your talent. There's a lot of cute bitches out here trying to sing, dance, hump, rap, model, and still got their ass up on motherfucking Instagram. Airbrushed up a storm and ain't nobody checking for you because you can't do shit else. So, but then you think because your friend got money, that's going to get you where you want to go. You got to be something in life. You have to want to be more. You have to reach for the stars. You can't go around saying, well, I'm not going to do this because I ain't going to get it. Or I'm not going to say this because I'm not going to get it. Like, I don't like people like that either. They got negative attitudes. That they speak negative shit into the air. I don't, I'm that type of bitch. Don't do that shit with me. Well, you may, bitch, I'm going to get it. And if I don't get it, I'm going to get the next one. But we ain't going to talk about what ain't going to happen. Because I'm not here for that. So... My whole thing is stop giving people credit who don't deserve credit or where the credit is not meant to be placed if it's not necessary only because they have money. That's stupid and that's childish and that's is materialistic. Everybody want to look at what somebody have. Well, like people hit me up. Well, can you do this and can you do that? And I don't even talk to these people. It's like, how are you asking me for something when you and I are not even friends, we don't speak. I don't have your number. We don't kick it like this. So why are you asking me to do a favor as I would do to a friend? Because you're looking at numbers. You're looking at what someone's position is. And you're like, I can capitalize off that if we could. I see it all the time. People do it to me all the time. And I sit back and I giggle. And they ask me for stuff and I don't reply. And if it's happened to you, then you know why. I mean, that has nothing to do with me. I've worked really hard to get to the position where I am. And the last thing I'm going to do is let motherfuckers who don't deserve eat off my hard work. That, and that should be for you, too. It does not work. It's one thing to help somebody. It's another thing to carry somebody. I'm not carrying nobody's business, nobody's blog, nobody's website, nobody's clothing line. No, I'm not carrying shit because ain't nobody carried my shit. And nobody should carry my shit. And that's the point I'm trying to make here. When you get to a certain point, you shouldn't be trying to leech off nobody because of things that they work for. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should have something of your own that you can go for. Don't be the next bitch lap dog. Be your own motherfucking star, bitch. You need to star in your own movie. Stop being a co-star to this bitch. That don't work. So, it depends on the person. Because everybody ain't made for this shit. And everybody think that fame and fortune comes with all these perks. I've been on YouTube for like three years. And things are just starting to work out for me. Things are just, And I've worked hard for it though. I've not just been sitting here doing nothing for nothing. Like I've worked hard for this shit and the opportunities that I'm getting now. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate it. I'm not one of those people that are going to sit up and throw shit. Like, buy this. Buy that. Give me this. Give me that. And if it's not well thought out, if it's not going to be of quality, I'm not going to do it. And that's just not just materialistic shit, but that's just me as a person. You guys are not going to catch me certain places with certain people doing certain things because I don't want to be looked at in a certain way and I don't go by what people think of me but I go by what I think of myself so there are a lot of people who are willing to do whatever to get whatever I'm not that one so maybe my rise may be a little slower than the next bitch but understand that when I get to where I'm going I can sit back and rest my feet and know for a fact that I did everything that I was supposed to do the correct way and I ain't got no motherfucking regrets and no shame on my name for that shit where motherfuckers can come back years later and blackmail me for shit that I've done years ago because it always happens. So yeah, I mean, I guess it, it depends on the person and it depends on the situation. But for me as a person, no, I, I, I just, I'm not, I'm, I'm not. And people ask me that all the time. You should be verified on Twitter. You should do this. I'm probably sure if I talk to the right people, I can do it. But everybody wants something. And I'm not willing to give up everything. And it's not just sex. It's not just this. It's other shit. So stop respecting people because of their dollar amount. And start respecting people for who they are. 
and what they've done for the better good. Okay, you out here respecting bitches is hoes, bitches used to be hoes, niggas used to be drug dealers, and I'm not saying that there are any less of people because of that, but there are other people that you can look at who do the exact same thing, who gotten where they want, but they did it with hard work and perseverance. Just start to look at your role models and start looking at the motherfuckers that you really, really think that are doing something. Because a lot of these people that y'all love and care so much about are so fucking miserable. They don't want to get up in the morning. They don't want to do shit. They wish they were still on a corner selling mixtapes. Because it's much better than the bullshit that's really going on. I'm just saying. So yeah, off of that, um, I'm about to start a new t-shirt line. Um, like Malibu Kids, um, that I'm working on the stuff now. So those who... Now listen, listen. I told y'all when I did Malibu Kids, it was a limited time only get down. So y'all hitting me up six months, seven months later, talk about something. Where did I sign I told y'all when everything sells out, it's over. It's over, it's done. So people wanted to wait it's seven months, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, but... For those who wanted to wait that long, don't worry. I got your back. I got a new line coming out with some old designs from Malibu Kids, like, you know, the the crew necks and stuff like that, and the t-shirts and stuff that you guys wanted. So don't worry. This is going to be a little longer. It's not going to be forever. But it's going to be a little longer than Malibu Kids was. Um, like I said, it's a new name. It's not Malibu Kids anymore. Um, and yeah, why not? Uh, Whiskey Girls, we're still doing that. Uh, the next episode is, we tape, I think, in two weeks, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, and I have a project that I've been, like, passionately working on to present to you guys. Um, but the only reason why I haven't did it, because everything hasn't been right. There, I'm a perfectionist, so it has to be correct in order for me to present it to you. Because I'm not trying to present y'all no bullshit, like, for real. But it's for something... That I really have dreamt of since a kid. And something that you guys keep saying that I need. And if I had one, you would buy it. That's all I'm going to say. You can discuss amongst yourselves at the bottom what that is. And we can go from there. So yeah. I'm about to go get me something to eat. And then I'm about to go home. Because I'm tired. I've been out like since early this morning. So yeah. I'm about to go. Um, And yeah. I will catch y'all. Later, later.